I said, okay, well, let's try and, do you understand what I'm saying? I, I, I'm very truthful about that. And, um, um, and she asked me a question that was very difficult for me. And it, and it broke my heart. But uh, she said this to me. She said, uh, is you traveling the world and doing your, you, you know, this mission of trying to create a better experience between men and women? She said to me, she said, is that more important to you than me? Yeah. And I love this girl, man. Yeah. And I tell you, uh, my answer to her was yes. Yeah. And it makes you all the more attractive. And I tell you, we're dear friends today. She's got a boyfriend. And mm. uh, we're so close. And, and because I was authentic to who I am, and I never compromised it. Yeah. Because she was attracted to that. If I were to, to, to compromise that spirit, yeah. then what is there to grab onto for her anymore? There's nothing there in you. There's no essence of who you are because you are failing at life. Yeah. So it, it, it was very hard for me. And I was telling, I think I was telling you or maybe yeah. Steve earlier or somebody, mm -hmm. Casanova, when he would go to a town, he would fall in love with a girl, mm. for sure. And, uh, and before he could leave town, before he had, because he loved her so much and didn't want to hurt her and wanted her to be happy above all, before he could leave town, and he had to go, it was his truth. Before he'd leave town, he would make sure he found her a husband, a nice young nobleman that would marry her. He did, you, read his, you read it, that's what he did. Because he cared about this heart, about this girl. But he could not uh, be a, a liar to himself and say, well, okay, I'll settle. I'll settle. We settle in our careers, guys. That's why I'm saying stop doing what you don't love. We settle mm -hmm. in our careers. We settle in our relationships. It's good enough. No wonder women don't find us attractive. Yeah. We settle. Dregs settle in wine. <laughs> Never, ever, ever, mm. ever settle. Women want, uh, be, be, lead, guys. Yeah. Lead. From now on, from this night on, start to lead. Go and lead your life. Go lead. Go lead. Be leaders. And you, you'll have women. You don't have to go. They'll follow you. Right? <laughs> if you're on a mission, they Do you have time for more questions? will follow. Question. Zen, I see that you're very relaxed and uh, content with what you are inside of you, right? As you have a core energy, positive energy that flows from you, and every time you go and interact with somebody new, you just let go and you are, right? Yes. Have you always been like this? And if you change, if there was a change, how did you change? How would you advise somebody to change? to become like this, you know, like to have uh, flow, the positive, the juice. Okay, you guys got the question. He said, have I always been relaxed and comfortable and honest? And mm. no, I have not. That's the truth. Uh, there was uh, a large part of my life where it was not truthful to me. Okay? I didn't really examine. I didn't wake up in the morning and say, okay, who am I today? What do I want? What do I want my life to look like? I had the normal corporate job. I used to sit in the boardroom. And we'd be there all day long, and I would stare at the walls, and I'd think, I'm here for money. Yeah. Not because I love it. And I quit doing what I don't love, and I said, I'm going to, to go into this world, and as Gita said, if you don't have your purpose, and you don't know what you want in life, that's your job now to go and find it. And, and, you know, and move towards your, your purpose and what you desire in this life, no matter what the cost. That's, that's the essence of it. I, no, I was not truthful to myself. I was not truthful to, to women uh, in an earlier stage of my life. And at some point, you know, you, we can continue this, but then what? What's the payoff when you're old, when, you, when you've, you know, shattered, uh, uh, you know. A thousand hearts. Yeah. It, and all the way. What's the point of any of it? What's the point of accumulating all the stuff you accumulate? We go and we spend $3,500 for a plasma TV, hoping a girl will come over and see it. <laughs> Yeah. Hoping that they'll think we're cool because I got a plasma TV. Yeah. You know, it's remarkable. We, we're, we're, we're so caught up in the consumerism and bon I have no possessions. That's true. I have no, I don't even have a pillow or a towel. I'm not saying that everybody should do that, but that's my truth. That's me being really true to me right now. I want to, I want to 
devote myself to creating uh, with people like Gita, like to creating. I don't know if I answered your question at all. No, I just want to continue a bit. So just, just focusing and reorienting yourself towards the, the most powerful goals you wanted to achieve right. that was sufficient for you to get rid of the, the tension, the hatred that you have towards other people and towards you. And uh, that, uh, you know, it's like a pain that you have inside and you wake up and people don't feel it because it's there. It's like a horse that's working all the day and he doesn't know he's working. And when he's getting time off, then he realizes that uh, he's a workhorse. And then he wants to be a beautiful horse sitting on a, whatever he wants to be on a lane, you know? And that was enough for you to get rid of this tension of being uh, full of hate and known. Like most of the people are, like you said, the plasma TV, that comes yeah. from trying to overcome the problem. You know, it's an, yeah. it, if I can rephrase your question to a degree, it's, um, was it enough to just decide? And the truth is, yes, it is. Yeah. We always have this no notion in our modern society that we have to work on our past. We have to work on our issues. And you know what? Stop. You don't have to work on anything. No. Make friends with your past. Stop hoping your past will change. Because it's not going to. Make friends with it and say, yes, OK, it created me today. I can't tell you how many times I've been with a girl who t who, who's we're lying in bed, and she tells me about her past. And she's crying. She says, you know, I had all these things. And I said, you know what? Gita, I, Gita, um, no. you had all these, <laughs> yeah. you had all these good things happen to you in the past and you had all those bad things that you're mm -hmm. relating to me happen in your past and it created you today. Mm -hmm. This is the girl I saw when I was over here. I was dry, look at how this girl radiates, guys. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm in awe with you guys, looking at this. And it's because of her past, her bad things that happened to her all her life. Yeah. That's why she's standing in this radiance right here, right now. So it doesn't matter anymore. And so when, when someone says to me, you know, well, I have all this, uh, you know, this anxiety or like I feel the sense of rejection I've had all my life. Well, guess what? That's your old story. Yeah. And it doesn't apply here in this room today again. And it is simple as that. It is a choice. You choose how the rest of your life is going to go. You have to want. It's a big subject put into a very tiny. Yes. Yeah. But, there's but it's absolutely true. Okay. Uh, so Gita, thank you so much. Thank you very much. It was Dan. fantastic. Thank you very much.